problem with the patient level are that people are still ignorant about the COVID crisis. They are either misinformed or they don't have any information, uh, authentic information about the COVID. Secondly, uh, they don't do early detection. They are still uh, fearing of, uh, to get tested positive. Uh, there is no uh, early initiation of treatment and they don't know the danger signs about the COVID. Uh, second is the systemic problem is that there are less and less uh, detection centers so patient has to travel a longer distance to get detected. Then there is a lack of primary and secondary care centers. Uh, patient has to travel to tertiary centers and then there is a congestion of, uh, uh, congestion of patients at tertiary center and many patients do not get beds. And third one is uh, there is a lack of uh, uh, beds, oxygen uh, uh, cylinders and ventilators at the tertiary level. How is aid helping? deal with this COVID wave 2 crisis. AID is rapidly implementing a comprehensive and layered three-tiered approach to deal with the immediate healthcare crisis. Mass information campaigns to build awareness, early identification of COVID symptoms, scientifically backed home care, safe masking distancing practices, and overcoming vaccine hesitancy while ensuring equitable vaccine access. Aid is helping set up rural COVID care centers in multiple states for the mild to moderately ill patients. These field hospitals with about 25 beds each will be staffed with trained doctors and nurses, telemedicine support, life-saving drugs and oxygen supply through concentrators. Aid and its partners are setting up 24 by 7 helplines and help desks in government hospitals to guide and support patients and they are providing medical equipment support to low resourced hospitals to take care of the seriously ill patients. Beyond the healthcare crisis, aid is helping under-resourced communities to survive lockdowns through food relief and regain livelihoods after the pandemic.